Conditions on city streets have been a sticking point for business owners for a long time. And tonight, one of San Francisco's most famous vegan restaurants is calling it quits after 14 years in the mission. Gracias Madre abruptly closed this weekend, and restaurant management tells Betty Yu, if you want to know why, just look around their block. After 16 years in business, popular vegan Mexican restaurant Gracias Madre has closed. The owners left this note on the outside stating that the economy and the state of the mission forced this decision. Before the pandemic, Gracias Madre on Mission Street often attracted long wait times, but it never recovered from the pandemic, and the street conditions drove away customers, especially at night, according to former general manager Joseph Donahue. Well, a lot of people would say that, that it was a little bit too dangerous to come at night. So because there wasn't any places to park your car, um, and if you did park your car, you didn't know whether it was going to get broken into or not. He said Gracias Madre tried to stay open until 10 p.m., but didn't have enough business to do so. The owners did not have enough cash to stay open another month. Their farewell note read in part, the condition of life in San Francisco has deteriorated and made running a small business nearly impossible. Joseph said going home after work on nearby BART wasn't an option. Little shady in the area. The, the streets are not cleaned on a regular basis. Um, it's almost as if it's like a forgotten side of the city. He said the restaurant's location next to an empty building on 18th Street wasn't enticing, though it is scheduled to become teacher housing in the future. I don't feel secure sometimes to walk in the street. This mission resident said he used to get on the hours long wait list for Gracias Madre. He's lived in the neighborhood for 23 years. The street conditions is in, in a mission here is very bad right now at this moment because not only the garbage, but the homeless, the drugs, the drugs. Gracias Madre still has two Southern California locations that will stay open. When you're in this business, at this point, you have to figure out new ways to run it.